everyone. It's early. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. here. It's 5, 10 a.m. 4 a.m. where Bailey is, my goodness. Oh, 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 Maria, hey from New Zealand. It's just after midnight. Oh my goodness. Well, it has been, it's, I, I don't know that I'm awake yet. I do have some like little nitro coffee. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm hoping it'll wake me up soon. But yes, Lucy says it. Hello, happy new year, everyone. Yes. Yes. Feliz año nuevo. Yes. <laughs> 610 for Lucy. 11.11 in Britain, 6 a.m. here, 3 a.m. Alexis, how are you still awake? Or have you just stayed awake? I don't know. Let me know how you guys celebrated. Thank you, Jessica. Morning, Sunshine. <laughs> and Zelda. Also, Laura A., thank you so much for your donation. For, oh, no. Oh, no. For your donation to the uh, NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Yes. Let's see. 611 in Ecuador. Happy New Year from San Diego. It's 3 a.m. where you are too. My goodness. 12 p.m. in Germany. Time zone twins. Stop picking your nose celebrated with sleep. Uh, author Ezra watched the countdown and played Jackbox. That's super fun. I've only played Jackbox once, but I really enjoyed it uh, for a socially distanced birthday party. <laughs> Play video games and drink wine. Snuggled with the kitties. Dad has been awake since 12 a.m. My goodness. Oh, congratulations on moving house, though. Grace and I danced in the complex parking lot. My neighbors got to witness some <laughs> sleep deprived silliness. That's so fun. Made pancakes, games, listen to 80s music, board game night with my family. That's awesome. Hi, Leo. <laughs> yeah, Liz, I went to bed early. This is my favorite kind of New Year's celebration. That's my favorite way to celebrate New Year's, too. I go to bed early, and then I get up, and I start January 1st with, like, a vigor, you know? Um, I don't know about you guys, though. So, look, I live in Texas. People in Texas like to do their Texas thing. Um, and the neighborhood that I didn't think, it's probably not allowed to do fireworks. Oh my God, like four or five people all up and down the street letting off fireworks, <laughs> which is fine, except the poor doggos, which you can't see. The poor doggo. <laughs> But otherwise, you know, it was good. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. I'm in Texas. Can confirm that fireworks are a no-no. Thankfully, it had just rained where we were. Otherwise, it would have been super dry and, like, a super no-no. But people just going to do what they're going to do. Um, I know. It really is. To our poor little pets. <laughs> Zelda's looking at me like... No one has ever said she was a poor little pet before. Let's see. Had to keep our cats inside. Yeah. Pets were going crazy. The poor pets. The poor doggos. The poor kitties. The poor birds. I don't know if anyone has birds. Or a snake. I don't know how snakes feel about Fireworks. This does feel like what 5 a.m. Writers Club would start off with. So, do you want to get down? So, um, I we talked a little bit about time zones. I know not all of you are in Central Standard Time with it being 5 a.m. right now, but um, I there's this whole philosophy around the 5 a.m. Writers Club. I did not originate it. Um, I just saw the trend and thought it was interesting. <laughs> so you're just waddle out. Um, I've seen it a lot of places on Twitter for a really long time. Um, and then I know Brooke Passmore has done some 5 a.m. Writers Club stuff before. So let me know if you've ever done 5 a.m. Writers Club before. Let me know if it's worked for you. Um, but, you know, I guess the whole idea is to get up just a little bit earlier and dedicate 
your mental time and all of that to the writing. Um, which as someone who already gets up pretty early, I don't know that this is going to be interesting. Is it going to help me? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out and try it all with you guys. I think I'm going to be trying it for about two weeks. So I set up today's live stream and we have a live stream next week um, at the same time, 5 a.m., 5, 10 a.m. Uh, Charlotte, 10 p.m. Writers Club. This is when my brain does the thing usually anyways. There you go. Never done it before, but it's good to start. Yes. My goodness, Silva. You know, the other problem is I think she thinks it's time for food because that's what usually happens when she wakes up. <laughs> Sorry, Zelda. Sorry, Zelda, baby. Our first sprint might happen sooner and I might make an excursion to let them outside. Um, oh, all the birthday pets. I don't know who's had a little puppy birthday. Um... Miyuki says, 5 a.m. Writers Club is new to me. I'm more of an all-nighter club person. <laughs> Midnight Writers Club. Okay, here we go. Christina says, I did it on Brookstream, and it does help because I'm able to get work done while everyone is asleep and can't bother me. I think that's definitely the philosophy behind it. It's one of those where it feels like you're stealing the hours. It's like a kind of sneaky thing, um, which I can get behind. The Naked Fly Fly, I've gotten up at five and it makes a big difference in my schedule. I need to get back to it. Okay, okay. This is the thing. People swear by it. Um, Grayson says, 5 a.m. isn't early for me. Honestly, I don't go to bed until 8 or 9 a.m. So this works just fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, fast being my kitty has his birthday. No, he's one year old today. That's so exciting. Um, tomorrow, Writers Club, yes. 617 Ecuador. Hi, Alvin. And yes, Happy New Year's. Okay, well, I think this means that it is probably time that we start sprinting. Um, you know, we can do some fun sprints. So do we kick it off with five minutes? I actually don't have my stuff pulled up, so that might not work very well. Um, I know Zelda. <laughs> uh, we could do 2021. 20, we could really start it off with a bang, a full 20 minutes. What are y'all thinking? Honestly, it might take my brain that long to warm up. So we could attempt it. Also a good question. I don't know what I'm working on. <laughs> I have a couple of things to um, edit. Under the other pin name, I have Meridian Maps that I need to reread the first uh, book of so I can start um, doing the next round of edits on that one. And then I had for a while been using live streams to do Project Death stuff. Also, hi, Phoebe. Um, so, okay. It looks like 2021 we're here for. That's what we're doing. There is, there is no warm up at these 5 a.m. writing sprints you're just thrown in. Let me go ahead and share my thing. Oh, oh, I see. If anyone wants to do the forest code, Zara has the forest code up. We share. We're going for random times, but it, you know, today um, is the first day of 2021. Um, are, is anyone in the second day of 2021 yet? Some of y'all are close. Someone was in New Zealand and it was midnight. Um, so, you know, first day of 2021, we got to do it. Uh, let me pull up the forest app. I went to join the room. I always feel like I'm so behind when I'm attempting to do this, 323. But I do appreciate putting them all together. Okay, join room. Ooh, look at that. What a great celebration of the new year. Okay. Izzy is working on co-writing a fantasy. Heck yes. We're close. We can do it. No warm up. We die like writing warriors. That's right. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about what everyone is writing and the next sprint. Um, but for now, we're just going to get started because uh, that, yes, no warm up. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, on your mark, get set, right. Hi, Zelda. <laughs>
beep, 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 beep. Sorry for not getting that before, but we did it. First spring done. This is kind of exciting. That is my first time writing in all of 2021. And I got to do it with you guys. How great. Um, I did see a lot of fun conversation about uh, Januarimo. Um, Ruby is doing it, except she started on the 29th of December, so slightly modified. Um, Bailey is now considering it. V Medina is not doing Janorimo, but is doing a story week, the Ray Bradbury thing. Heck yes, I've seen several people doing that. Um, Shay with the Hobbies, Cache Born, is uh, doing that as well. Uh, let's see. Who actually first talked about it? Was it Day Two asked? So I don't know if you were participating in Janorimo. Um, I know Regina Duke is as well. So many people. Um, Bailey is doing a personal 1K a day challenge, actually, in case I did a start resolutions in December, and it's helped build such good writing routines. Yay, that's awesome. Helen, I'd love doing Janorimo, but I'm currently editing and don't want to start a new project yet, so maybe next year. I have such high hopes, okay, uh, that this year I might be able to start a new project with NaNoWriMo and, like, do NaNoWriMo in full um because i'm hoping that i'll have project death done by then and um like the first meridian maps book i'm hoping will be out by then um i'm giving myself a loose goal of uh late 2021 but i'm hoping it'll be out by then and i'll have started the process of doing the second and third and fourth um and getting them ready and like more edited so Maybe I can start a new one. I don't know. This is truly the year of wrapping up projects, I feel like. If 2020 for me was no new projects, 2021 is like wrapping up projects. Um, so maybe by the time November is around, I'll be able to do a new one. Sarah is doing 120,000 January, 120K January for Milwardy. Heck yes. Madeline just added another poem to my first novel, 204 words, and honestly, I'm doing better than I thought I would at this hour. I, you know what? I'm doing shockingly better than I thought I was going to do. I got 208 words, but this is like, um, I, I'm i revising in quotes, so I'm like kind of working around what I already had. So pretty good. Let's see. Oh. New project, <laughs> 531, 127, that sprint. From Nova Scotia, hello. Stop your nose, a full page of words and my five subject no notebook for the novel. Awesome sauce, that is. Phoebe, as usual, I think I'm ready to write, but I actually end up doing 20 minutes of research. <laughs> uh, Lex finished the first revision of the first chapter, I guess, for 5201. <laughs> Jack asks, Janorimo, what is the sorcery? Is Janorimo any different from Nano? As far as I know, um, people spun off of the idea of Janorimo. So like writing 50,000 words in a month. And they took that into January. I think because, you know, the holidays are done. It's a lot easier for a lot of people to do stuff in January and rather than November. And um, because it's like all the resolution stuff, I think people really have like n -n -n um, that they don't have in November. <laughs> and so that's, um, people just came up with Janorimo themselves, as far as I'm aware. I don't think it is in association with Nanorimo, the organization. 246, teen typewriters, almost done with another scene card. I also love your little icon. That is so cute. Uh, 184 and 50 minutes of scrolling through Pinterest. <laughs> you know, you were just refueling. That's what it was. 565, 421, rewritten. 197, two pages of editing on Helen's novel. Um, am I behind? I think I'm behind. Eve! Eve says, Janorima sounds so much better for my schedule. Tempted to jump in a day late. Absolutely. I Yeah, I think it's a lot better for a lot of people's schedules. Gracie might try Janorima this month. 
Oh my god, your kitty is so cute. Seeing I tried writing 50,000 last month and succeeded, so why not try again this month? Heck yes, that is the spirit. 154. Uh, Book Queen 12, I'm writing a YA fantasy. 181 words with in this 20 minutes, though, with a lot of research for the Fairy Queen's name. That's incredible. 181 words and, like, name creation. ELC asks if there are any screenwriters here. I don't know why I paused. There's a delay, so like <laughs> I just held the pause until I got anyone. <laughs> but I did see some poets. Um, I think um, so. Shade with the Hobbies helped to create um, Creator Tube. I've seen some. I've seen more songwriters, um, which should be included in like a write tube sort of thing. Um, I think uh, Becca C. Smith. I always recommend uh, for screenwriting. Um, yeah. So, oh, here we go. <laughs> Maryville took a screenwriting course at the University this spring. That's awesome. Want to try writing a screenplay so bad? Heck yes. Um, 260 handwritten words, setting a new goal for creative morning pages. Ooh, I like that a lot. Love to have a job as a screenwriter. I'd like to try screenwriting someday. Heck yes. I remember Jessica and I, was it last year? 2020? No, it has to have been 2019, right? 2020 was just such a little dumpster fire that I honestly don't even remember. Time is a construct and a concept that my brain cannot handle. But one year, uh, Jessica Williamson and I, for our author tube chat, challenged ourselves to attempt to write a screenplay. Both of us failed abysmally. However, <laughs> I do want to return to it someday. So maybe actually that'll be what I do for NaNoWriMo. That would be fun. Uh, why am I already planning NaNoWriMo? when it's in January. <laughs> okay, it was 2019. Thank you, Jessica. I was like, this feels wrong, but <laughs> Isabel, 10 words. <laughs> Script frenzy. I do remember that. I feel like I keep trying to click on your comment. I'm sorry, Dan. I feel like they got rid of that. Did they? Am I crazy? Oh, Faz Bean scripts some comics in a weird way. It's similar to screenwriting. I bet it is. Yeah. Ah, ELC. I just finished my master's in screenwriting this year. Wrote a feature and a TV pilot and a couple shorts. Happy to help anyone with screenwriting tips. Heck yes, ELC. I can't see it on mine, but do you have a channel and do you talk about screenwriting? How do I go to your channel? I'll just Google it. I'll look it up later. <laughs> I hope you do. Talking about screenwriting would be a lot of fun. Um, and I would love to hear how getting your master's in screenwriting worked. So let us know. Um, Okay. Oh, what was Script Frenzy? I'm pretty sure Script Frenzy was brought to you by the NaNoWriMo people, and it was just a month for screenwriters um, to do their thing. So rather than National Novel Writing Month in November, it was a month of script frenziness. Um, and I think that they either just like didn't get as much involvement or something, but they got rid of it. I'm like 85% sure that's what happened, but don't quote me on it. Um, yes, by the, okay, good. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was by them. Um, okay. I think it's time for another sprint. I think we're crushing it so far. Um, let me know if you guys, what are you thinking? Okay, I saw, let me scroll back up uh, because I got an answer to my question. Oh no. Oh, my screen, my stream yard is not caught up with the NaNoWriMo comments, but ELC said that they don't have a channel yet, as far as I'm aware, but they're working on making one. Is that it? Oh, ELC is adapting their TV pilot into a novel so I can actually finish it and then potentially self publish. Follow Becca C. Smith. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what Becca C. Smith, <laughs> Becca C. Smith does. Um, I love Becca. Anyone who's been around this channel for any amount of time knows I love Becca. Um, but I always thought it was so cool how she more, mostly like 
writes her drafts as a script, as a screenplay first, and then adapts them. So she's pulling a lot of her old screenplays and adapting them into novels. And I just think it's so cool. So I also love Grayson's suggestion. We're going to do 22-22 um, and just, we're going to go for it because this is the kind of morning I'm powered by caffeine. I'm just kind of feeling it. So I hope y'all are feeling it too. Let me, it would help if I shared my screen first, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do 22, 22. All of the twos. I'm gonna give you a little bit more time. Mirko asks, what's a sprint? It is when we try to get all of the words in a timed, short timed amount. I should also see, okay, Zara, once again, it is being blocked. I just managed to catch it uh, here. It's also not in my stream yard yet. So Zara has the forest code for anyone who wants to join in the forest room. Um, it is 3TH, I know Zelda, 4G, U, 4. And it's a cute little tree. Okay, I hope y'all are ready. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna have to meet myself. This is a baby. I know, I hear you. You think I do not hear you? <laughs> okay, on your mark, get set, go.
beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, that is the end of the second spread. Woo! Um, I loved y'all giving name suggestions. Very helpful. I always appreciate when y'all can do that for me, but Randy's Growly McGrowlerson for the werewolf name killed me. So I had to shout that out. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Hannah says, I don't know why my brain does this, but for some stories, I can't do a drop of outlining for, and now I'm scared to start a new work in progress without start, starting my outline. Without staring my outline down. Normally I'm a pantser. Oh, maybe this is just like, you're going to start shifting into being slightly more of a planter. That could be it. Just one more chapter says, and done. I can never decide if I actually enjoy writing essays or hate them with the deep and passionate part of my soul. You know what? Beloved hate line, very thin, you know? At least you are definitely passionate, whether it's a good or bad thing. <laughs> Hi, Emily. I know, I know. We're on some new crazy craziness. New year, new craziness. Team Planter. Uh, 331 from the first sprint and this one. Wow, that's crazy. Team Blancer. Alvin, too. 275, 316, 397, 303. I finished that with 595 total. Um, so I think I had like a little under 200 for the first sprint, and now I added, you know, a little over 300. Yes, or a little almost 400. I don't know. 595. <laughs> And I actually sort of finished that piece. Um, so this was the first bit of revision on it where I go through and I add more to like kind of my bare bones idea. Um, so I think I finished that off. All I'm going to have to do is actually just sort of edit it down later. The piece itself is actually like, should I check that? The piece itself is at 932 words so it'll be fun to see um what I sort of get that down to but I added 595 revision words to my Millwordy. it is the first thing I've tracked for Millwordy for this year so that's exciting um Daya's doing chores to kick off the new year that's what I'm going to be doing I did some of that yesterday too there's just something about entering the new year with like a clean space um so I'm going to be doing more cleaning today as well yeah, also, does anyone, like, I don't even know that it's spring cleaning, but it's, like, New Year's cleaning. Or, like, are y'all getting rid of stuff? What's the weird thing you do around New Year's time, like, that just kicks you, kicks you off? Um, let's see. 1,058 for the stream so far. Way to go, Danica. 239, 275, 100% pants. 583. I love that so much. 577. Managed to finish the chapter. Way to go, Brooke. No, just got puppy potty break, coffee, and minimum words. I'm about to get more coffee, I think. I might switch to tea. Don't know what the healthiest route is, but like, I'm feeling it. We're in the zone. We're at 618 now. Like, this is prime time. Also, let me just tell you, that 595 words flowed so easily. This was actually a part where I couldn't exactly figure out how I wanted to end the piece. So I'd already written an ending, but like, you know, when something feels wrong, um, that's where I was at. So something felt wrong and I just kind of sat on it for a while. And now I have the ending that I like. I'm gonna have to wait, give it some more time, make sure that's true. But at the, at this 5 a.m. thing, I'm saying it might, it might work. Uh, Two more poems for Madeline, 268 words, that's awesome. 152, really close to 2,000 words in this chapter. Way to go, Izzy. <clears throat> 540. Whoa, daydreaming author. I wrote 3,129 words in the seven hours before New Year's in one poem. You know what? That would be a really fun thing. I mean, we're past this now. But I think it would be really fun to uh, do like a leave 2021 with however many were like do a pseudo 24 hour write-a-thon as you leave one year and go into the next one I don't know will I remember this in 365 days probably not <laughs> at least 540 Clapton says 521 
Um, let's see. Oh, people are bullet journaling. Patrick. Oh no, I missed. Oh, Helen always wears jewelry around New Year's because it makes me feel like I have my life together. I'm gonna paint my nails today too because painting my nails does make me feel like I have my life together. <laughs> January spread. That's why, if y'all got bullet journals and you're on Instagram, I want you to like tag me. I wanna see your bullet journal spreads. <laughs> I love them so much, even though I do not make them. Bro, compulsively decluttering is the way to go. Absolutely. Grayson, New Year's Day, I'm making a whole ritual. Music blasting, dancing around the house, and lots and lots of cleaning. Heck yes. Crystal always rearranges her house. Marie Kondo cleaning to bring in the new year. Yes. ELC, please do this every day. <laughs> I don't know that I'll do it every day, but let me tell you, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, actually. <laughs> I just have this recurring habit of, like, throwing it out there and then being immediately wrong the next day. Um, but I'm feeling this 5 a.m. thing. And uh, next week, actually, we're doing a return to the Twitch streams. Um, so we'll see. Maybe there will be a schedule change for my Twitch streams here in the future. If I like this 5 a.m. thing, we might commit to that. <laughs> More 5 a.m. spreads. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, y'all are like in my brain already. <laughs> it's a possibility. We're gonna see. <laughs> um, I, you know what? Here for the scribbles. That's what it would be for me too. Twitch streams, Twitch streams. Honestly, we might just add to the Twitch streams. We'll find out. Um, okay, girls. They are freaking, they are up. <laughs> Beth says, I choose my four big goals for the next year and divide up into half year goals, quarterly goals, and then monthly goals. I love getting prepped. That feels like a great way to spend the New Year's. It's so weird to me because, like, I... I will uh, think about my goals in December because to be fair, I do start a lot of them in December, but then it's like, I'm so hyped for the new year. And then it's like, sometimes as soon as the new year comes, I almost forget what I had planned. <laughs> so I think I might revisit stuff again, especially since I started in December, I can have sort of like a quasi like check in with myself. Um, Charlotte, apparently you can use StreamYard to go to Twitch. Did not know. Um, so, if you, I mean, you could already do StreamYard. I know that for sure. Um, I have OBS set up, and I find it pretty easy um, now that I have it set up. It took, like, a couple hours of Googling, as I'm not the most tech savvy. Um, but I definitely recommend it. Someone I saw, no Twitch, please stream here on YouTube. So there's a reason, um, do, can y'all hear them? Why do y'all sound like you're killing each other, huh? <laughs> They're just, they both looked up and be like, what? Um, I stream on Twitch because streaming on YouTube, YouTube starts to penalize you for having too many live streams um because they can't personally put as many ads so um that's why you'll see a lot of people moving over to twitch um and that's why i've moved more of my live write-ins over to twitch i still like to do them over here on youtube um but the twitch ones you know it was built to be a streaming platform so it doesn't penalize it doesn't penalize you um so anyways that's why I look, I love YouTube for a lot of stuff and I get that they need to make their money too. Um, but it is a little bit infuriating sometimes um, that they'll also like algorithmically uh, punish you for having too many streams, AKA not making them enough money. <laughs> um, yes, Izzy, this is a writing experiment for two weeks. I'm going to be doing 5 a.m. And if the, I will say, if the rest of the two weeks is like today, I'll just keep doing 5 a.m. for however long. Like, this is wonderful. <laughs> also, yes, Anna makes an excellent point. There are Zelda and Buffy and Duke emotes 
on Twitch, okay? So then you can just put their little puppy faces in the chat. And that's truly a win, you know? <laughs> All the doggo emotes on Twitch. Uh, Charlie says, I did know that. I feel like there might be more options and variations with some other streaming software that streamer can't do. Looking into it because my videos were getting swamped out by streams. Absolutely. Yes. Unfortunate sense. Absolutely. Oh, Jessica makes a good point. Not to mention the difference in the number of trolls. Yes. So, like, I don't know what it is. Um, thankfully, so far, maybe 5 a.m. is the time to do it. Or my um mods are doing an amazing job of taking care of things when i'm not <laughs> but like for those of y'all who randomly um will come into some of these youtube streams it's like the the bots just come out in full force twitch i have not experienced that at all cannot explain to you how if twitch like works to fix that or what the difference is i don't know so anyways uh bailey asks if i could post my twitch schedule on youtube to make it easy to find i don't care where you stream it is yes i will see if i can find a way to do that the best way to do it is to go to twitch as i sometimes change it but um yes i will find a way hi hi alexis <laughs> um Okay, this is going to be the last question, and then we will go to another sprint. Um, also, thank you, Grayson. I did not know that. Very interesting. I'm lucky to have not run into any. Um, we asked, do you plan on ever making a Discord server for your community? Because I'd love to see more Twitch streams, but I never knew you were doing them at all. So I have a Discord server connected to my Patreon, but... Um, there is, uh, Devesha just set it up. There's a Millwordy Discord um, that's really cool for everyone who is participating, even if you're doing like a half Millwordy or a quarter Millwordy. So um, you don't need to join my Patreon to find a writing community. Um, there's also a NaNoWriMo Discord. Um, I will see if I can find some. Um, and I'll when this video goes, like, is put onto my channel. I was gonna say it goes live. It's live now. When it goes onto the channel, I will try and put that in the description um, so that y'all can find them. Or I'll pin it as a comment. Um, okay, I'm also gonna do this. Uh, I do love my Patreon Discord server though. The people there are incredible. Um, but want to give you some free options as well. So 3Y... G A U M P. Join room. It's a little pair. Look at that. It's so cute. Okay. So, thank you, Jasmine. Yes. Also, Zara says Keelan Rivers also has a Discord, the Sprint Squad. Yes. Thank you, Crow's Talents. Yes. You get, they're all the same level. <laughs> I tried to make a workaround um, because. Patreon and Discord weren't talking. Um, so you get the same stuff at every level. It used to be just a dollar a month. So basically it's still just a dollar a month, but some people um, like to give more, which was very sweet of them. Um, but then it was messing up Patreon and Discord. <laughs> so if, if you want to join, it's a dollar a month. Otherwise, again, I will add some free Patreon or uh, free Discord links as well. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> okay, so now the question is, I heard a little woo in the background. Now the question is, how long did we sprint for? We did a 2021, we did a 2222. Do we do a short one? Do we just like mix it up a little bit? Sprinkle in like a tan? Oh, no, here we do. Here we go. <laughs> Here we do. You know, I've been up since 5 a.m. <laughs> Danica, with an excellent suggestion. Let's do the lovely one, two, three, four. We're gonna do the 1234. Mix it up just a little bit. Kind of get going. Um, I do agree the 20 minute ones are going well, so we'll probably hop back to that after. But just for the fun, for those of y'all who wanted a little bit of a shorter one, we're gonna do a one, two, three, four. Um, also, Charlotte, you know what? If I remember correctly, we will do this. 
1984 for the lulz just for you. <laughs> okay, let me share my screen. Let's get a timer going. One, two, three, four. Maybe. Oh no, I started it. No, I did it. It's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay. Banners. It is the third sprint. As I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try, but I'm definitely gonna butcher your name. Hoperus. I really apologize. That sounded terrible coming out of my mouth. <laughs> it was not right. Um, but have a good sprint. Yes. Thank you for the excellent reminder. Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful sprint. It is time. On your mark. Get set. Go.
Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. All right. That is the end of the third sprint. I do just want to say shout out to Matthew for almost being done with his book. I guess. Way to go. Let's see. Uh, scroll down. <laughs> Keep writing. I did. I added some more. I'm at 679 now. <laughs> but I just looked up and I was like, oh, look at that. <laughs> Um, Jojo completely outlined a fairy tale I wrote for nothing more than world building. There's no reason for this thing to exist, but it will. I feel like that's the thing with almost all stories. There's, you know, does it need to exist? It will exist. We're going to make it exist. It will be so fun. Heck yes. I love all the fairy tales. Uh, 467, 79, 875. Yeah, I'm also, I have not also been, words are so hard. I also have not been counting <laughs> by sprint, but like as a collective. So I'm at 679 for the whole thing, um, which is awesome. 364. <gasps> the Daydreaming Author. I finished my book. Five chapters, 3,400 plus words, third story completed. Oh my God. I don't know how else to do. Like I want confetti to come out. That's awesome. Hooray! Congratulations! Marta Zero dropped words, but a whole bunch of brainstorming and figured out some world building things. Good night! Happy New Year! No, oh, 12370. 604. Danica, no words but join the stream. It's the small ones in 2021. Yes, it is. You were right. Celebrating everything. 831 in total from two sprints. So happy I've started this today. Yay! Yes, me and the LCB twins. <laughs> Hooray for the daydreaming out there! Hooray! Congrats! Oh. Oh. Amel with the awesome book word count 41414. Incredible. 155. Yay! 143 in that. 598 for the whole stream, all of the sprints. Ooh, what are we talking about? I don't know what we're talking about, but we're excited. I'll be excited because Phoebe's excited. <laughs> it was such a satisfying number. Heck yes. Um, Diana's searching through old files for nonfiction notes and images I need. Yes. Oh, Zara's got the forest code. Charlotte says, I got very distracted by my own imagination and David Tennant holding up a semicolon, so I got pretty much nothing done that sprint, but it was a good time. <laughs> oh my gosh, Charlotte. Okay, I'm going to try and join the room. 4F63 GFE I did it! Hey, guess! We got another little pair! Let's do it! Yes, Danica, I've had my coffee now, so I'm feeling even more alive. Yes, yes, I now have all of the dogs and they all seem to be settled down. They're like, okay, we're used to this, not at this time, but we're used to this now. So, Buffy and Zelda are on their mats. If I had a better way of showing you this and so many things weren't connected, I will attempt it. But Buffy's right here on her little mat. Zelda's right here on her little mat. And then Duke is right behind me because he likes to be as close as possible and does not care that I sometimes accidentally, rarely, uh, run over his little tail. And I always feel so bad every time it happens and he continues to sit as close as possible. <laughs> um, no, goes down, my dog I went back to bed again. Not too late, Jacqueline, we have, wow. Okay, I did not realize we've been doing this for an hour and 37 minutes. So we're probably going to do one more sprint. So Jacqueline, you came just in time. This has gone by so fast. I am confused. Okay, you're right. Charlotte with the great suggestion, 1984 to Farewell to Dystopia. Don't leave it all behind. We hope. 1984 it is. Um, I'm also going to show y'all what it looks like when it's 1984 so that y'all will... Okay, okay. I thought I had bested this, but I did not. <laughs> Ready? 1984. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I hope y'all are ready. 
this is what we're gonna do. Um, this is for you, Charlotte. <laughs> for those of you who do not know of the lore, Charlotte got several of us. To be fair to me, I'm pretty sure she got me in the middle of like one of my 24 hour write a thons. It was very rude. <laughs> I was very tired. <laughs> and uh, I was like, yes, 1984 is a normal number and totally won't convert to 2024. It's fine. And I got got and I could not figure out why it was changing. Oh my God. It was so funny. I know she got Becca C. Smith with it too. Hysterical. Um, man. Okay, but now we celebrate. <laughs> okay, hope y'all are ready. Good luck. We can freaking do this. Also, I think it was Hobby Rush is how you said to pronounce it. I'm hoping I got that right this time. Yes, good luck. Good luck to everyone. Let's freaking get this going. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs>
beep, 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 beep. Sorry, I'm behind. Oh no. Okay, man. Uh, I just had to highlight this comment by Corinne because I loved it so much. But doing 5 a.m. Writers Club requires a hobbit eating schedule for breakfast when you start and second breakfast for when you're done. We got 11 C's coming, you know? <laughs> I actually see the first little bit of light uh, happening outside my window, and that is such a fun way to end this. Yes. Ooh, the pair survived. Also, I added the comment. Um, oh no, I think they're, oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh fudge, but it's good. It's all good. Um, good morning. Happy 2021. Uh, Helen got two pages in 1,532 total. Great way to end January 1st. Yes, that is. Holy crap. We got 412 for Christina, 182 words left, words and leftover food. Cause yes, let me tell y'all. I'm actually impressed with us. We made it to the very end of the chat before we started ch talking food. Like that's, an hour and 50 minutes has to be a record for us. <laughs> yes, yes, that is a requirement. <laughs> 167, one more poem for Madeline, 224 words. 414 for ELC with a total of 1,252. Brooke got 2,001 total. Corinne got her next chapter plotted. Heck yes! Lucy did research. Phoebe, so glad to have made a start on this short story today. Yay! Oh. Oh. Cinnamon waffles. Yum. Oh. Oh. I'm definitely, I think I'm going to make waffles too. I'm so excited. Well. My goodness. Yeah, let's see how else, how everyone else did. 1,625 for the entire stream for Sarah. Way to go. Marina, my first 485 drafting words of the year 2021. Yes, that is awesome. It has been so nice to get these first bit of words with you guys. That's awesome. Beth planned out the next three months of articles. That is incredible. 664. Heck yes. Heck yes. 1,053. Three handwritten pages done. 1,087 outlining and drafting words for the whole stream. Way to go, 353, 951 total, 1410. Everyone did so awesome, yes. Everyone did so awesome. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I got 842 for the whole stream and I'm feeling really good about that. Um, I got some things done that I ugh, had been meaning to do for a while. So that also feels incredible. This was such a wonderful way to start 2021. Thank you everyone for joining me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what I should shout out at the very end. Oh, um, Zara is going live on Twitch. I think her name is Zara Hoffman over there with no space. Um, oh, fudge with glasses. It did work. I did not have to approve anything. Yay, yay, heck yes. Yes, so great. Thank you, Grown Salads. You're bringing me back. <laughs> next week, there will be another one on Friday at 5 a.m. Um, next week, there will also be Twitch streams from 2 to 4 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I am Kavanaugh Rice over there. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I have to shout out for now. But thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This was so fun. It is now time for food. I will see y'all very soon. Bye.